The following program is brought to you by the Center for Educational Outreach at Baylor College of Medicine. Hello, my name is Greg Vogt. I'm with Baylor College of Medicine and I'm here to show you how to participate in the Butterfly in Space experiment that we have going on the Space Shuttle STS-129. The butterflies are, will be, on the, be moved to the International Space Station and they will grow and, and we're going to be studying them day after day to see how they develop. Now our experiment chamber that we're using in space is a rectangular box that has the larva for five painted lady butterflies and there's food and there's uh, nectar and so forth. The painted ladies will eat and grow, get larger. Eventually they'll form a chrysalis and then after about a week or so in space they'll uh, emerge from the chrysalis and we'll have full grown butterfly, adult butterflies. And we're going to try to see how they change compared to butterflies on Earth. So in order to participate in the experiment, what you will need to do is to have a, a chamber where you can do the same thing. Now, butterfly larvae are available from many school supplies, sci science supply catalogs. They're relatively inexpensive. And uh, when they come in about a week after you order them, you will need to have a chamber set up to put them in. Now our chamber is similar in interior volume to the one that is a flight chamber. And what it really is, is a plastic box that is used in, in takeout places for carrying home a, a salad. Just a simple clamshell box and it's approximately the same interior volume as we have in space. It's a very nice box for this because the sides are real clear and you can watch what's happening. Now the way to make this work is quite simple. All of our materials are very inexpensive, like for example, the feed tray. The feed tray is made up of little individual coffee cup creamers. Uh, they, these are little serving containers and um, you take a piece of paper or uh, plastic and cut out a little rectangle that fits inside the box. Then with a little bit of hot glue, you just simply put a strip of glue here and then put the cups in place. The two center cups are going to be used to hold food for the larva and the two outer cups are going to be used to hold the nectar when the adults emerge. Now the way it works is quite simple really. You just simply place it in here, close up the box along with the food and the larva. And I'll show you how to set that up. When the butterfly larva arrive, it comes in this kind of a container here and you open it up and using a little paintbrush and a popsicle stick, you can easily get the food out. Now the food comes with it. In fact, you could even leave the larva right inside here all the time. But you simply scoop out the food with your popsicle stick or a little plastic knife or a spoon and you put it into the food containers. Be careful not to hurt the larva itself when you do that. When you have enough in there for there, you take um, a paintbrush and it's a, like a paint, watercolor paintbrush and you simply push on the larva, gently push on the larva, and they'll, they'll resist a little bit, but they finally come out and they're not harmed at all by doing so. But you get the larva in there and just drop them into the chamber. So I've got three out right now. I'm gonna get my fourth one and there's fifth one here. Oh, that's fourth one here. Come on, there you go. And I got one more over here. So I've got my five larva. And whatever's left of the food, you can then put into the cups. Well, I've got them in there. Now the next step is to just simply Take this thing, place it like that, the food tray right there, and, and take out the paintbrush. Then simply close the box and snap it. And now I have it ready to go. And you can see the larva in there, they're happy. They will decide where the food is. They'll, they'll be able to find it and they'll feed very nicely here and go bigger and bigger. We already have one that is set up like this. That's the one that we set up before. And the larva are quite large now. These, are, these guys are getting ready to actually form their chrysalis. And the nice thing about this box is that once you've got it set up, you can study them very clearly through the sides. By the way, notice that I have a cardboard stand that I made. And the stand is just simply cardboard kind of bent in a way to, to hold up the box. That's all there. You can design any kind of stand that you'd like to do that. Well, there are the larvae. They're crawling around now. They're eating, they'll eat the food. They'll get up on the food cup and they'll eat their food. And eventually, these are getting ready to do so because they're quite large. They will move their way up the side and eventually get to the top here and form, they'll attach their backsides to the upper surface and they'll start to spin their silk to make the chrysalis. After about a week or so, well, they'll uh, emerge from the chrysalis and they'll become full-fledged adults. They'll straighten out their wings, maybe. We don't know for sure what they'll do in space, but we know they'll do it down here. So you have something to compare with. The idea is for you to study what these larvae were doing, the adults when they do it, uh, study the, the chrysalises and so forth, and compared to what happens in the environment of space.
So that's our investigation. Every day we'll have pictures taken of the larva and then of the adults and so forth, and that'll give you a chance to compare what's happening up there with what's happening down here. You can find those pictures on our website. We'll have them archived and they'll be available to use at any time, and you can do the experiment again and again if you'd like. Well, that's how you, how you get involved. The materials cost, well, well, cost approximately $20 when you purchase the larva and everything else is pretty much free. Well, that's our experiment. Thank you very much.